you can change like this. If you're having a bad day, you can change it instead of going down the spiral of the negativity. Because when we go so far down, then it gets harder. So let's change that mindset. You know, let's look up, let's smile, let's dance, do something for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Vitale. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Lux Media Studios. Hello and welcome. You've landed on Zero Limits Living. I'm Dr. Joe Vitale. Every week I bring you inspiration and information to transform your life. The show's become so popular so quickly you could see it or hear it on 1,000 platforms across the galaxy, including Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, YouTube, and probably anything you can mention or anything you're using right now. I'm putting all the episodes in one place to make it easy for you. You can go and binge by going to ZeroLimitsLivingTV.com, ZeroLimitsLivingTV.com. People ask me about coaching. I started my own coaching program 20 years ago, trademarked. It's a system that's proven to work. Find out for yourself. Go to MiraclesCoaching.com and get a consultation. Next, my most recent program is called Mental Time Travel System. Just go to mentaltimetravelsystem.com. My latest book for the moment is called Unexpected Kindness. You can go to unexpectedkindnessbook.com. Amazon, of course, there's an audio version, Kindle version, hardcover version, paperback version, pretty much anything you like. My next book will come out in June of 2024, so only months away. And you can pre-order it right now. And guess what the title is? Zero Limits Living. The very same title of this show, Zero Limits Living. My guest is amazing. This is sunshine in human form. Amy Jelich has always been a pillar of positivity, spreading joy wherever she can. After being diagnosed with stage four cancer, Amy still doesn't let that stop her from living her life to its fullest. From being confined in a wheelchair for months to being able to walk again, Amy has a unique outlook on life that doesn't allow her circumstances to determine how she feels and acts. Through this positivity and mindset, it allowed her to appear and even win, in some cases, from The Price is Right, American Idol, and The Game Show. Amy is the host of Loving Life, Being Authentically You which teaches all about self-love, being the winner you really are, and more. So, Amy, welcome, and thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> of course. I've been hearing the greatest glowing reviews about you. Despite the difficulties and challenges and hardships you've had, you really, and these were my own words, are walking sunshine. You are handling it and glowing and doing what needs to be done. But at the same time, you're inspiring other people. I congratulate you. This is this is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I really, when I was diagnosed, I was told that it was complex and complicated and live my life between treatments. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as that happened, I thought, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to let this define me. Cancer is not going to define me. It's not going to be who I am. And so I just said, no. And it also helped because my mom was so scared and she's like, oh my gosh, you're going to die. And yes, it really was. I, I was really, really sick. And I don't remember as much of that part, to be honest, but I was. And I just said, mom, it's just like the flu. We just have the flu and we're going to take care of it. And that's just how we have to live our lives. But am I going to say, woe is me? Am I going to be in bed? Am I going to be like, uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to really live my life because now I have a short amount of time. And so it's important to live every moment. You are inspiring. That little talk you just gave right there. People can replay that every morning to get their pep talk for the day. So well done. But you also are illustrating something I have to ask you about. Your own mother is being afraid of this diagnostic, this, this thing that you have. And yet you aren't. Were you more positive than her since day one 
or did something happen before anything along the lines of an illness or cancer or any of that to, to help you change into a positive person? I think I've always been pretty positive. I've always looked at things as things are going to work out. I've mm. always been about manifestation. I've always been about believing, having faith and what you put out in the universe is going to come back to you. And even if you got a penny to your name, it's going to multiply. I've always been like that. That's always been my thing. Um, but when I was diagnosed, it hit me. I'll be honest. Okay. There's, you know, you get fear, you get whiny, you get, you're scared. You're like, Oh, it's over. And I was really feeling that, but to protect my mom, because she literally went to the worst, I had to change it and make it a different way of telling her that it's okay. And I will be okay. And give her that faith that she didn't have because she thought I was going to go. Well, so that's very noble. You were actually changing your own mindset around this to help your mother more than yourself. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Wow. And and again, like when the doctor said it's complex and complicated and live your life, I thought, you know what, what do I have to lose? What do I have to lose if I'm just going to live my life? Because I'm not going to sit around and wait for the, these numbers to keep going up or to take me or whatever. And if they do, they do. But I want to live a positive impact in people's lives. And I want them to know that they can get through anything. And you could just change that mindset. And your life can be limitless and amazing if you just <laughs> allow it to be. We stop ourselves so much, Dr. Joe. We just stop yeah. ourselves. And it's like, why stop yourself? Just let it be. Feel that vibration and that happiness. Oh, you are a force for positivity for sure. I hear it. I'm getting tingles listening to you. I'm going to make you the, the poster woman for this show, the Zero Limits Living Woman. Here she is. So I, I got to do my best to help as many people as I can now in 25 minutes or less. And so I got to ask some pointed questions. In your opinion, when somebody gets a a dark diagnostic, whether it is a cancer or an IRS audit or the COVID or any number of things that people shudder to hear. If anybody hears that right now and they're listening to the show, they're watching you and me, um, what would be your basic advice? How do they lift themselves up out of that darkness so that they can proceed with a positive mindset and doing positive things to make a difference instead of folding and just saying it's all over? How do we help these people? I think the biggest thing is gratefulness. Ah. Gratefulness for what you have. Yeah. gratefulness that I can open my eyes even when I was in a wheelchair, gratefulness that I am breathing, gratefulness that I even could take my medication, like all of that. And when you get an audit, yeah, you're like, oh my gosh, no, no, what now? Gratefulness that you even were able to pay those taxes, that you have a job, that you were able to, you know, that kind of thing. And then say, let abundance flow to me and it will be taken care of anyway. Like just being grateful for every little thing that we have because there's so many blessings in this world. Go outside, look at the trees, look at the world, look at the, the sky. It's so beautiful, but we don't take the time to do that. And so when these things happen, I think it can just pull us down. But if we just go, no, wait, this is an event. This is just an event. This is a moment in time and I'm going to get through it. It's like terrible twos, right? The kids are terrible twos and they're like, oh, it's never going to end. But yeah, it does end because it's just an event. You know, my daughter's now 18. So that's what happens. And so I think pulling yourself out of that in that way of just saying, I am grateful for this and reframing the mm -hmm. events mm -hmm. of what's happening. Oh, I love it. I love it. I can listen to you all day. You're, you've are you got everything to, to help people right at your fingertips. You get it on your mind and you can just spit it out like that. Uh, mm -hmm. A couple other questions. Are you out of the wheelchair now? Yes, I am. I was in there for about a month and a half mm -hmm. uh, right at the beginning. And then I had gotten a screw put in my pelvis. So I wow. have tumors all over my body right now. Okay. And so I had the screw put in and then I was in it for a little bit more, but I got out of it and I am actually working out. I'm actually doing everything. I'm like, I'm not, like I said, not letting this take me down. I'm doing yoga. I'm doing mental body, mind, spiritual alignment, all of that. And I've been so blessed with the people that have come into my life that has shown me, hey, you need to take care of you. Yeah. You need to do this for you. And so that's what I've really been focused on is my healing journey. I, I love it. That is inspiring. Are you doing this alone? Are you in a relationship? Do you have help? Is your mother there? Are you, do you live by yourself? What, do you have help? So I am a single mom of two. Mm -hmm. I have a, a almost 16-year-old son. 
an 18 year old daughter. She's a singer songwriter. Oh. And so she's got her music out. I've been helping her with that. And so I've really been just, I have been doing it on my own. It was a friend came in the picture when it first started and was helping me through everything, going to the hospital with me and all of that. He was amazing. And then my mom came back from Croatia because they're both in Croatia, my mom and dad. They came back to take care of me. And then I just, you know, I've been doing it on my own. This is amazing. And what have you been doing for income, for money, for paying your bills? If you don't mind my asking, but I know people are curious to know, how is she taking care of her health and living and has two kids and basically by yourself? I mean, how are you surviving? Well, so I have a, I have a GoFundMe that mm-hmm. has helped me tremendously. Ah, okay. um, and I just feel that the blessings they pour in, I can't even, I don't even know how. Honestly, when <laughs> I think about it, I'm like... <laughs> How is this happening? But it seemed like everything was lining up the way that it was supposed to in order for me to be okay. And in order for us to, and to learn about finances and everything too. So to be able to make it work. I love it. I I love uh, GoFundMe, Kickstarter, crowdfunding. I love those because a lot of people who needed help got it from the crowds around them, from people they may never have met. Is your uh, GoFundMe still active? Are people still contributing? Yes, they are periodically. So I also heard, and again, because we're pressed for time, I'm kind of collapsing some of these other rabbit trails that would go down so I can be very focused. But when you are on, what was it, The Price is Right and American Idol and the game show, how in the world did you get on those shows? And did you win Price is Right or one of those? Believing Before Seeing, a new bestseller by Candace Barr, Order your copy today. Yes, I did. I did. It was actually really amazing because I really believe in the believing before seeing. And I was in a very high vibration where I was pulling my mind with podcasts and vodcasts and listening to all of this positive stuff. And I just, all these little inklings of intuition that you have, follow, just follow follow them because you never know where they're going to lead you. Like right now being on here, right? (laughs) Like it's amazing. And that's basically what happened. I had a dream and in my dream, I was spinning a wheel and I woke up, I had no TV, no nothing. And prior to this, I was like, oh, it'd be great to get my kids a TV. Oh, I would love to go to New York and see the Rockettes. Oh, you know, I need a new car. My lease was up and it was the, it was the divorce at time. So I knew I wouldn't get a car. And I was like, I mean, I'm going to get a car. I, I have a car. I don't know. I just said I did. I didn't know how, didn't know anything. And so basically um, I had the dream, woke up that morning, got an email saying, you want to be an audience member. And my mom was coming into town and I thought, eh, sure, why not? We'll do it next week. So we're driving there. I'm running late thinking, oh, should I? Yes, I'm supposed to. I don't know why, but I'm supposed to be there. And then, um, and I actually, to be honest, wasn't feeling that good either, but I'm like, I'm going. I don't know why. We'll Again, yeah. following it. And so I went there and they interviewed everybody and I thought they already picked people and they did not And they're like, so what do you do? I'm like, well, I make guacamole in a little cart. I used to make guacamole with people and I loved it. <laughs> and I sing and I just, that's what I do. And then, you know, everybody else went through the line. I'm clapping. And I honestly felt like we were all in a love bubble. Like we were all in life together. There was no competition. It wasn't like, oh, you're going to make it. You're not going to make it. It was like, we were all in it together. And so then they called my name up and I was, the first three people went up and spun. The other two, the one more person went up and then it was me. And it was for a TV and a DVD player. And at this point, I know. And at this point, I'm like, these other people are telling me what to do, what to do. And I'm like, okay. And I was listening to them. And then I started thinking, I need to trust my intuition. I need to trust my inner being. I need to trust that rather than always relying on other people. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to calm myself down. And I'm going to say, who here knows about TVs and DVD players? And I just went to this one person and I thought, they own them a store or something. It was something in me. They said the price and I'm like, that's it. And so I said it, I got up there and got the DVD and TV and then was able to spin or get like this $150 increments for Mm -hmm. a car. Mm -hmm. And so that was the next one. And literally again, looking, going, okay, I'm going to trust again. And I saw everybody. I'm like, okay, I'm trusting though. Like, okay, here it goes. Boom. Got the car. It was a mini Cooper. So I got that car. I know. <laughs> this is amazing. 
<laughs> and I was like pinching myself like this can't be real this can't be real I was crying I'm like this is this is this doesn't happen but again it was like confidence yeah. but not like oh I'm great it was yeah. a confidence in myself mm-hmm. it was mm-hmm. like it was peace it was like mm-hmm. this inner knowing mm-hmm. it was the love bubble, the happiness. And so I got that. We spun the wheel um, and everybody spun. The first person spun 85 cents. The next person got over a dollar. Then I spun and I got 90 cents. So now I'm in the showcase showdown. So in the showcase showdown, it's about, I think the first one was like going to Africa, having a wave runner and some different things. And I was like, no, I can't. I have kids. So I, where would I put the wave runner? I was thinking very logically. And so I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm going to pass on that one. The next one was a trip to New York for New Year's Eve, was another car that was really beautiful, like a mint green car, oh, gorgeous. And, <laughs> and then it was um, some Dior stuff. And I thought, oh my goodness. And so the girl, I had passed it. She already had said 33,000. It was my turn. And my mom's like, 33, 33. And I was like, okay. So um, at the end of it, I was like, all right, 33,000. Didn't even think what she had said said 33,000. And I think I was like 3000 off. And so I got everything and I won the whole thing, which is like 60 some thousand dollars. That's astonishing. I, I got to break this down for people. First of all, I'm in awe. I love the story. I love the synchronicity. I love your energy around it. And I love how you told it. So thank you for all of that. Mm-hmm. So there's a couple of things I heard that are almost like a formula. One of them is you said I had a very high vibration. You were listening to a lot of podcasts. You were listening to a lot of positive messages, and they were boosting you and keeping you in that high vibe, which is where you need to be to manifest some of these miracles. So that's the first thing I heard. The second thing I heard was you got a dream, and you, in the dream, you were spinning a wheel. And my first thought was, why did you think it was Price is Right? Why didn't you think it was Vegas? And I'll just go and spin a roulette wheel or something. What was in you? So the very, the very first question is, am I right? Listening to all those podcasts is what elevated you. And maybe tell us what a couple of those podcasts were. Mm-hmm. And the second was the roulette wheel. How did you know that was a TV Price is Right kind of thing? You know, that's interesting you're asking that. So first of all, the podcasts and things I was listening to, I was listening to Robert Hollis. I was listening to Tony Robbins. Oh, yeah. I was okay. listening to, I was listening, I was watching The Secret. I was all of these oh, things. Okay. So, very much everything that was really positive and anything I could get my hands on. Yeah. So I, I really, I needed that in my life. And mm-hmm. so that's, that's what I really absorbed myself with and always changed my mindset to the positive if there was a negative. So something may happen. Nope. We're going to go positive. We're not going to complain today. We're going to be happy, different things like that. And yeah. so that's how I kept it. And then for the wheel, I don't know. I woke up that morning and I'm like, price is right. Like it was the weirdest (laughs) thing. And then the email came through and I was like, price is right. Like it just, I don't know. It was just the wheel that I had. Uh, Yeah. I love it. No, I totally accept that answer. That is beautiful. (laughs) Are you still listening to podcasts or videos or movies or reading the books? Are you still following that? You must be doing something because you're plugged in. You got high energy. You got voltage. (laughs) <laughs> and that voltage is coming from somewhere. Are you doing all of what we're talking about? Absolutely, absolutely. And also, I've been doing the Ho'oponopono. Oh, Ho'oponopono. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. And that was a big thing for me, too, that I was oh. doing. Because especially it was through the divorce process. Yeah. And so I had to forgive and I had to get through that. So I was definitely doing that, which I think was also clearing out everything and putting yeah. in peace. Yeah. Um, so I was doing that. Um, and yeah, and I still, I do listen to whatever I can get my hands on through different um, events or things of that nature that I can see. I'm always doing something like that. And what would you say to the naysayers, the skeptics, the critics, that they're well-meaning people, but they're listening to you just going, you know what? I don't like her because she's lucky. Everything is happening for her and kind of forgetting the cancer and the wheelchair and all that stuff for a moment. But looking at the idea that she gets a dream and she goes to Price is Right and she wins all of this stuff and she seems so happy, she's lucky. What about the naysayers are sitting there going, that's got to work for her, but, you know, she was lucky. It's not going to work for me. So actually, it's funny because I used to think like that. These oh. other people are lucky. These yeah. people are lucky they're winning the lottery. These people are lucky they're winning in love. These people are lucky. I was the same way. And I thought, there's not. it's not going to be me. Why me? And then I thought, why not me? 
Why <laughs> not me? Yeah. There's no reason. And it's up to me to get in my high vibration and become the best version of me. That's the only thing that I can do. It's not going to help me to compare. It's not going to help me to go, well, then if she does it, then I can't. There's no reason. We're all in life together. We're all human. Mm. And so mm. when I finally put that in and was like, yeah, and in the Price is Right, that whole love bubble, we were in it together all like happy. If someone else would have won, I'd been like, hey, I would have been happy <laughs> for them. Good. Like I wasn't thinking about it like that. And I think the more that you love your life and enjoy it, then you can be, then you can start getting those miracles and those blessings because you're not thinking about what the other people are doing. Yeah. yeah. We surround ourselves too much with what other people think. And I think that if we just take that away, then we can really start seeing our miracles because there's so many miracles in our lives and everybody could win. Anybody can just work on you and just get that high vibration. Listen to the wonderful things. Listen to you. Do hopo ponomo, hopo ponomo. Yes, <laughs> you know the that? ho-ho method, ho -ho -pono -pono. Yes, Exactly, right. do all of that. And you can do that too, because you'll start feeling like you're in that high vibration and you're untouchable. It's a beautiful feeling. You are amazing. I'm going to tell everybody there's a podcast they have to go listen to. It's yours. <laughs> it's yours. Because if you're bringing this electricity to your own show, then this is something people got to tune into, including me just to get that boost, just to get the vitamin shot of motivation and inspiration. Uh, where is your show? What is it called? And where can we find it? You can find it on YouTube with mm -hmm. Lux Media, L-U-X-E mm -hmm. Media. And it's called Loving Your Life, Be Authentically You. Uh -huh. That is so powerful to me because I think so many times we lose ourselves and what people think about us. Yeah. And for me to finally step into our true authenticity, is so important and also the true happiness. I also do coaching um, with the true happiness. That's my website. Ah. It's called the true happiness.com. And just to help people to <laughs> really to be able to get out of these moments when they think that they can't, it's a mindset shift. It's a yeah. mindset shift. What question were you hoping I would ask you in this interview? Were you thinking about this interview before we finally met? Because we didn't meet before this. We didn't talk before this. Uh, the wonderful people at Lux Media and Candace are the ones who introduced us. So here we are. Were you hoping I would ask a particular question or really wanted an opportunity to talk about a subject or a concept that was important to you? I think, you know, I really love the concept of manifestation and miracles happen. Yeah. And I, and I love the way that, that we can change our mindset. And I think that really, I just, I wanted to ask you where that changed for you. Where did like your, like, you're like, okay, yes, I can have miracles. Where did that change? Or were you always like that? No, I was not always like that at all. And thank you for even asking me. That's a, that's a very generous thing for you to do because you're here to be interviewed and you're interviewing me. But I'll give the quick the quick answer. I, I'm a bookaholic. I read books all the time. I have since I was a kid. I'm in my 70s now. But when I was 16 years old, I read The Magic of Believing by Claude Bristol. The Magic of Believing is still in print. It's a book that came out in the 1950s. So I read it in the, the 1960s. And I really got the concept. I couldn't always apply it because I was doing it by myself. I was young. I was a kid. I was just growing up. There was nobody coaching me, mentoring me. We didn't have an internet. Uh, but I got the concept that if I could believe it, if I can really believe it, then I could probably actually manifest it. It really started with The Magic of Believing by Claude Bristol with me. There's a lot of books that came after that, a lot of teachers, a lot of reinforcement of the same message. But to answer your question, it would be The Magic of Believing, Claude Bristol. And today I'm lucky enough to say, not only do I have a copy of his book, I have a signed copy of his book, which is, which is a big deal for me. So what do you think is a final takeaway for people that they, what do you want them to do? What do you want them to actually do or think or act or wrestle with? Is there a quote? Is there a assignment? What do you want to leave? What do you want to leave people with? I think that you can change like this. If you're mm. having a bad day, you can change it instead of going down the spiral of yeah. the negativity, because when we go so far down, then it gets harder. 
So let's change that mindset. You know, let's look up, let's smile, let's dance, do something for you, sing, whatever. I'm in the grocery store always singing, like whatever. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. I love the image of it. (laughs) Do something for you. I uh, I was looking at what shirt to wear for this interview, and I had picked up one that has a dog with a frisbee in its mouth, and it says, "Don't forget to play today." And I almost wore that one, but I went with the one I'm wearing, which says, "Expect miracles." Either one of the messages are totally fine. Expect miracles. Don't forget to play today. They are fantastic. Listen, we're out of time. I can't thank you enough. You are electrifying. You are a joy. You are an inspiration. I want everybody to go listen to your show. I encourage you to write a book. I'm a book nut, right? So I'm going to tell anybody that hangs around me for any length of time writes a book. Okay. Uh, I've been talking to Amy Jelich and listen to her show, Loving Life, Being Authentically You. And what was your website again? The TrueHappiness.com. Yes. Be happy, everybody. There's no excuse. No. I'm Dr. Joe Vitale. You've been watching Zero Limits Living. Every week could bring you inspiration and information to transform your life. Only now I'm going to talk faster to get it all done in 25 minutes or less. Go to ZeroLimitsLivingTV.com to see all the shows. Check out Miracles Coaching. Check out my new program, MentalTimeTravelSystem.com. My latest book is Unexpected Kindness. My next book is Zero Limits Living. You can pre-order it now. It'll come out in June of 2024. I love you all. You're the ones making a difference. Pass the word. We can be happy. We can dance in the streets. We can play Frisbee with our dog or with ourselves. Expect miracles. Until next time, I love you.